Honourable Senators, I rise in celebration of National Indigenous Peoples Day. This day is part of the Celebrate Canada program, which also includes Saint Jean Baptiste Day, Canadian Multiculturalism Day, and Canada Day itself. National Indigenous Peoples Day is an integral part of the Celebrate Canada program in that it completes the recognition of Canada's multifaceted diversity. Collectively, these four days allow for a completely inclusive recognition of all the peoples who together have built our country. From the earliest days of Canada, Indigenous peoples contributed to the defence of Canada, doing so in the War of 1812, in the two world wars fought during the 20th century, in assisting in the defence of my homeland of Korea, and contributing to Canada's military efforts in the peacekeeping missions and conflicts that have occurred since that time. One of the most decorated Indigenous veterans was Tommy Prince, who bravely served in both World War II and the Korean go. War. Too often, the contributions made by Indigenous peoples have not been given the recognition they so justly deserve. In this regard, I believe it is so important that the War of 1812 Book of Remembrance, unveiled in Parliament's Memorial Chamber just a few years ago, incorporates a listing of individual Indigenous warriors who gave their lives in the struggle which preserved their own individual nations and Canada itself in the face of invasion. We also recognize the countless numbers of Indigenous peoples in all walks of life who have contributed so much to bettering the lives of their own people and all Canadians. There are literally too many people to name, but in my own field of education, we have the inspiring contributions of people like Verna Kirkness, an educational trailblazer in Manitoba. Janet Smiley, Associate Professor at the Dalalana School of Public Health at the University of Toronto and our very own former colleague, the Honourable Lillian Dick, who served as a professor in the Neuropsychology Research Unit of the Department of Psychiatry at the University of Saskatchewan before serving in the Senate with distinction. On this day, we recognize and acknowledge all of their contributions to the building of our country. The historical relationship between Indigenous peoples and Canada has often been difficult, but through the day that we celebrate today, we proclaim both our gratitude and our determination to move forward together as we build Canada. Thank you.